Hi fam, welcome back to our channel, Design on the Dollar. I'm your host, Ida, and today we are going to do this blinged out Valentine's Day lighted vase. And I hope you stick around for this DIY. Here is the picture of the vase or a clip of the vase when it's all lit up at night. And as you can see, you can put lights down at the bottom as well. And you can use this as a candle holder or as a floral vase. It will look great on either as either one on your decorative table, or you can use it as a boss to give that special someone um, flowers or um, fill it up with candies so for this DIY you're going to need one of the Dollar Tree vase two of the Dollar Tree um, ice cream bowls or you can use two of their candle holders or you can use one of their margarita glasses you want to need some strong adhesive glue you're going to need one of the Dollar Tree round little mirrors some tacky glue you're going to need some brooches. This brooch right here, the large one, comes from the Wish app. I got it for free. I just had to pay shipping and handling. And this is one of Totally Dazzle's beautiful buttons that um, I have the pleasure of working with them. This come out of their pack number one. And of course, their bling, 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 bling wrap. Um, this bling wrap is amazing, guys. It has so much sparkle to it then and um, I love it. Some of these um, upholstered uh, glam nail heads, you're gonna need your wire cutters, or if you don't have those type of um, bling, you can use these bling from um, Walmart. Hot glue gun, hot glue sticks. So the first thing we're gonna do is take some of our strong adhesive glue along with our hot glue and we're going to put the two ice cream bowls together cups together um, bottom to bottom then you're going to take your strong adhesive and you're going to go around the rim of that um, now base of the base and you want to try to get the spillage on the outside of the cup so you can um, clean it up if it runs over. You'll see in one of my clips that some of mine got on the inside and I did not catch it in time. And so it's sealed in there forever. And after you do that, you're going to take your round mirror and sit it on top of that vase, that base and you want to make sure that it's up there secure. You want to sit some heavy on top of it and we're going to put it aside to dry for just a little bit. And after you do that, you're going to bring your boss up and you're going to measure out your bling wrap to fit the entire um, vase. Now you don't have to do the entire vase. You can do half of it. You can do all of it. You can do, do none of it. Um, it's just your preference. But, you know, I love bling and I'm a bling girl. So that's what I decided to do. Then once you have that measured out, you're going to bring your decorative nail heads over. And uh, I'm going to show you what they look like. And these are upholstery. Um, I bought it to do one of the beds, but I didn't need it. So I said, uh, what can I do this for and I said oh I can use them as uh, gems so I'm gonna take the wire cutters and I'm gonna put it at the very base of the nail head and I'm going to use that um, wire cutter and I'm going to cut it so guys you may want to um, uh, right there you may want to 
put on safety glasses as well because you saw where that piece even though you had your hand over it popped up and out so you just be mindful of that and you may want to wear some safety glasses doing this project as well so once you have all of the ones that you need then you're going to um, bring your base back out and we're going to start working on our base in just a moment okay so now we have all the pieces that we need and we're going to bring the base out and we're going to start gluing them around the mirror of the 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 mirror like the rim of the mirror and it has a um pre-designated line i guess that's what you can call it that i'm going by that i'm placing the gem on the edge of and so and i found that the tacky glue works the best because it's hard to get the e6000 or the hot glue to sit just right so the tacky glue gives you an opportunity to um, work around work with it and then it sticks pretty fast so i'm going to do this all the way around the mirror and fill it all the way up and then once i do that i am going to set it off to the side to dry and i'm going to bring my vase back out and i am going to cover the vase with the bling wrap As my foot again guys that restless leg syndrome <laughs> and I and I guys I don't be realizing I'm doing it either <laughs> and then with the last one you probably just want to make room scoot everything over so you can get that last one in and voila there you have it. and I'm going to set this aside to dry for two hours and now I'm taking that my strong adhesive and hot glue and I am putting it on the bottom of my vase and I'm going to secure that vase in the center of that mirror. So now I'm going to work with the bling wrap. I have a four strand of um, bling wrap and I'm going to take it around where the two ice cream cups meet at. I'm going to take that that bling wrap around the entire section of it. And then I'm going to put the bling wrap around the vase, making sure that I align the back of the both bling wraps, the top and the, the bottom section, making sure that the back is all together that all seams run together that's what i want to say and i think it's beautiful just like this if you don't want to put any brooches or anything on it you can stop right here but i'm taking that heart it's a heart that i got from the wish app and i am putting some e6000 and hot glue on it and i'm putting it at an angle and then I am going to also take that totally dowsel uh, button and I'm going to put that down at the base of the in the middle of the um, vase down there where the two cups meet and there we have it guys isn't that gorgeous I love it I love it I love it so here I have some red and white roses in them and I think they came out beautiful and this is what the light lighting looks like when the when the lights are on and in the next clip you're going to see where I have the lights off and I have 
um, a set of lights uh, up under one of the bosses so you can see what that looks like so guys if you enjoyed this DIY and you loved it please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to rate comment subscribe like and share and until the next time guys I love you I love you I love you I love you to the moon and back and back again